tonight on Poker After Dark. Oh wait, you raised? You screwed up. Daniel Negreanu takes on his coach. <laughs> Matt Berkey takes on the table. And just like that, Berkey has aces. Nice, nice job, dum dum. <laughs> and Scott Seaver goes for broke. I've never had good bounce back ability. Welcome one and all to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a new season of Poker After Dark, and that means some new faces seated at the purple felt of the Poker After Dark suite. A familiar voice in the booth, however, I'm Ali Najad, and once again, we've got Veronica Brill on the floor bringing you interviews. Among the new faces are Zach Franzi in the one hole, who has bought into this 200-400 game with 50 grand and MJ Gonzalez in the five seat, otherwise known as Daniel Negreanu's coach, and he's in for a cool 100K. And I will take the Jack of Hearts, because it's my favorite card in the deck. All right, I'm taking the King of Clubs. Terrible card. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna follow Scott's lead. Loving it. Chewie told me Very his discipline. favorite card was the Jack of Hearts, and I'm like, he's a sharp fellow. He is a sharp fellow. And I've just ever since. I don't think you're allowed to. I think once someone has a favorite card, The though. ever That's sticky. Me. Big blind of Matt Berkey defends and yeah. flops a deuce on the paired flop. Be playing that's, 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 my deuce, that's my deuce of clubs, Dan. Your what? Deuce of clubs. I'm just thinking, I, this is my first time playing live poker in like a year and a half, and I'm just already seeing all the props. Oh, the props. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wait and see how many you sleep. Oh my god. Well, that's I the beautiful part really about sleeping. Props. By definition, you don't know you slept it. Yeah. I used to have really bad props, but I didn't care because I just wanted to bury everybody. Yeah. I had a five in like five of my seven props. Yeah. So if the flop came trip fives and I was off for triples, it was, it was one million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> game over. And I did hit it once, but I was playing heads up against Barry. Oh, and a oh, double O. It was, it was doubles. Well, yeah, I got yeah. paid though. No, that time. <laughs> it was poor Barry, unluckiest prop player ever. No, he won like. Yeah. <laughs> Berkey picking up a wheel draw, checks a second I time, never heard faces say anything bad about a twenty-eight hundred dollar barrel. That one guy, one time. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, it's still out of character." That's funny. Yeah. Surrender. Yeah. Deuce. The white flag oh. is waved. <laughs> All right, sleeps or no sleeps? Mm, you pick. Sleeps. <laughs> Five hundred to one k. One k. Right, we can go bigger if you want. 4K. Okay. Well, that was a fairly easy Never negotiation heard. between MJ Gonzalez and Dan Smith for the props as you get a peek at Matt Berkey's background. We've talked about him being a Yinzer from Pennsylvania. Rep and Saul for Y, his I feel you. Poker Instruction Little Academy. Caffeine. The most horrendous thing in the world for you. <laughs> <laughs> the things I saw you do last year, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> This that was then. This is now. It's a whole I'm, new game, man. I turned over a new Different lead. Different kind of coke. We, we don't live in the past, no. man. No, that's oh, that true. green tea, <laughs> man. It'll really get you. 1,000. <laughs> we had a long week in Deer Valley. I didn't even do anything. I slept for four days. I understand. it. I did a lot of things and slept for, like, one day. <laughs> Raise and take it for Negranu's King Jack on the button. We've seen you quite a bit of Daniel of late. He spoke with Veronica about playing with his that's coach. You are probably the biggest superstar in poker, and um, you just played a really big heads-up match, and your coach is at the table. Are you feeling like maybe he'll use some exploitative play against you? Oh, I definitely think, like, you know, we've spent a lot of time together in the lab with a third party and, you know, really going over a lot of stuff in, in depth. So anytime you have that situation where you both learn in the same way and you know each other's strengths and weaknesses, yeah. it creates a, well, he knows that I know that he knows I know. He knows I know that he knows I know I like to do that. So I imagine there'll be some leveling wars. It should be some fun. Uh, how are you going to counter that, like just basically play randomly so he doesn't know what's going on? I think here's the thing, right? Like a counter to anybody who's like maybe going to exploit you is to play as close to like game theory optimal as you can. Right? Oh, wow. Because if you play Game Theory Optimal, there's nothing anyone can do to like exploit that. You're just playing your cans right. Um, but he's very good at a lot of things. So, I mean, listen, it's not heads up. There's a bunch of players at the table. He won't be my target. You know, I'm, I'm looking to set my sights on maybe some other players at the table. <laughs> he still, he still could not win. Yeah. It's there. Cool. And the coach will defend. 
As Negranu's 5-6 suited. That's how I know when to quit a game. When I have to look at my cards four times. Top they're pair. Just, they're different every time I do math I again. It's been a while. 2,600 is in there, right? Okay. So. Uh, These internet kids, man. Can't 600. <laughs> Play button. Put it all together. Okay, with the old. It's just an honor to get to watch the gears turn in real time. Cool. Trying to educate so myself. So now there's. Side if I want hey man, to we're staring 40 in the face. Nice. Top pair turns into top two as Negranu now draws dead. Nineteen. Nineteen hundred. Cool. Oh, there's eight. So there's Wrong. Oh wait, you raised? You screwed up. You should have waited for the river because I was gonna barrel it in there. You raised for real? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna freaking pile. You missed out on an op. Sometimes it happens that way. I was drawing completely dead. Were completely. you? Yes. So Unless you had three. One for one. And I was drawing live. Living in Las Vegas now, originally from the Bay Area and a stint in Southern California, where he was a formidable yeah, adversary in just about catch. any <laughs> private game that was high stakes. 35 years of age. Beautiful daughter, Zoe. Is it only on the flop or at any point? Any point on the board. What if I asked a rabbit on a river and there it is? If you want to play that, that's fine, as long as it's called <laughs> prior. 1,000. <laughs> but only I'm allowed to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, what a great situation that would be. <laughs> when you know you have his card in your hand and rabbit just every time? I'm not emotionally stable enough for that. I mean, for small numbers like this, it'd be fine. 42. But if someone could just randomly choose when to see an extra card, and if I got like whacked for like 30K or something like that, I'd be in outer space. Dan's button <laughs> open gets three bed by Better Diamonds. I'm not emotionally sound. Just, just volunteering that information is so Top pair super. against bottom pair on the Queen 8 7 board. <laughs> I think it was on the, I think you did Ingram podcast and you said something to the effect that your emotional instability is a weapon. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I can't call it a detriment because it's all I've had for years. That's, true. that's, that's the half cup, oh. the cup half full. Yeah, exactly. If I know I'm an emotional basket case, I might as well at least really that lean into exactly it. That is hearts, my friend. There. If I know I have problems, I just dive into them. Yeah, exactly. Lean into the discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> Wide awake is Dan Smith, who calls his jack of hearts prop and picks up a four pack. Which is in there? He'll have to put all four of it in there, plus another dime if he wants to see I the river. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out this freaking math stuff. Is all pot? Yeah. And did pick up a gut shot straight draw. 23.5. 23,500. Boy, and he is applying tremendous pressure to this ace queen, raising it up to 23 5. And MJ. How much is in there now? Makes the call. <laughs> more. Correctly. And his hand yeah, is still hard. best. Yeah, real game changer. Five of clubs does not rate to have affected anything. Check. Dan gives up. One pair. Winner. And two for two is MJ Gonzalez showing his chops.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, MJ Gonzalez made his presence known on Poker After Dark, winning a couple of nice pots to kick off this session. 10-5 offsuit, because it turned out I had never looked at my cards this way. <laughs> and that that lesson really stuck with me for knowing when to quit if I'm not really able to see my cards anymore. Man, so brutal you didn't win that hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's I didn't say I didn't win it, but uh, I did win it. I mean, you, you learned a lesson. I yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. fair. That's, That's fair. fair. I would have learned yeah. nothing that I won. Yeah, for sure. It would have been pretty cool, though. I was yeah, like, you, you apologize to the yeah, guy yeah, before you hit him with the bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just like, hey, man, sorry. Sorry. Like, what are you sorry about? That's 10 of diamonds, five of clubs. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, 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 sorry, man. I have to snap you with this. I apologize. <laughs> Ducks, box cars, and an ace nine all take the flop, and ace nine emerges in the lead as Negreanu closes the action emphatically with a check back. Seaver holds the only flush draw as Franzi decides to get after it. Call. Scott makes the call and has kings full of sixes. Feels a little reluctant, but Scott wants to keep Zach honest. Well, maybe I looked at my cards incorrectly. <laughs> this time I knew what I had. Kicker got you, huh? So brutal. You get a nine with the worst kicker? <laughs> kicker problem. <laughs> Finally knew what I had and it punished me. Well, Zach Frenzy has only 36K God, plus in career to live to tournament earnings. I don't want to hear it. Come. <laughs> I'm only here because Jake he begged me to come. <laughs> begged me. I've, I've, then I've I spent the last six days preparing for the fluff to get shown into my face. I understand. It's half the fun of playing with him. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped Shadow Creek to make sure I played, and uh, they're at Shadow Who Creek. Who would have thought you were the responsible one? Obviously, I am the virtue of responsibility. Incredible. <laughs> what a crew that must be. <laughs> yeah, it's a hell of a crew right. there. Franzi is a convert from the Blackjack Streets. My responsibilities know no bounds. <laughs> which was his first gambling interest. Okay. Once upon a time, he was a busboy at Morton Steakhouse. Okay. Two jacks, two diamonds, and a seven. There's three players. Okay. In for 1,000 each. MJ, the pre-flop raiser. Gonzalez takes a stab. Franzi, a non-believer, calls with the ace-5, which is still good here on the end. But a pretty wet-looking eight of diamonds on the river. Which Gonzalez will fire 5K at. Zach has a little sniff there, but in the end, decides. Uh, what do you guys want to do about to let him get away with it? And three for three. I don't know whoever just won the last pot tips for the entire session. Love that idea. Yeah, love that. I let's vote on it. <laughs> yeah, in. Doesn't seem veto, veto. Mm. <laughs> okay, so so we have three two. So it's like Dan. Like <laughs> 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 no, let's just like, call it awesome. It's right? so low. Okay. Oh, we can make it smaller. How about that? 
That's worse. That no, I, I hate. That I, say honest, I kind of hate gambling small as like a yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, you can turn it off. Like, hey, let's put two hundred dollars in the game. One thousand. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. What the f does my Ace Deuce offsuit lose? How do you qualify Ace Deuce offsuit as a really bad hand? That's also a great question. Interestingly, MJ and Zach, who squared off in that last pot, have not one but two bio notes that they share. They both state that their single greatest accomplishment that they're most proud of is their kids. And that they think people play tighter on televised poker games than they do in home games. Meanwhile, got something brewing here. Negranu with the hooks, made it 1K, Berkey. With Ace King, three popped it to 2,500. And after MJ flatted the small with King Queen suited, Seaver gets out of there with the Ace Queen off. Good lay down from him. Negranu looking to call the herd. Pushing back, 12,500 total now. All in. All in. Berkey makes MJ's fold easy. So what is it, how much more? Make sure, 52. I'm probably playing. I think it's 52.5 total. Oh, you were winning? Very small. <laughs> the shocked voice. Wait, you were winning? <laughs> um, Negranu has Berkey I mean, well covered. To, so let me just 52 sure. on the dot. 52, and I've already put in 12.5. What was I doing around him? Doesn't have queens, I don't think. What were you thinking about doing? Doesn't have kings, doesn't have aces. Has ace king, like, for sure. In one of those spots where it's just like, for sure he's got those two cards. Sure. And if he doesn't, I'll just look stupid. But, I mean, here. If you got ace king, you got ace king. Twice. Sure. You have ace king? Yeah. It's so weird how like you can just know for sure, yeah. right? When you have that hand. That's what you're hoping for, so you decide it's the only hand he can have. <laughs> I don't know how you ruled out queens and kings, but I can tell you later if you okay. want. Okay. <laughs> but there was for sure. I, I, I can tell you now. It's because he had jacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Right, because if I would have put you on that, then I couldn't call. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I understand that. You know, it's next level. Kind sure, of. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Two times. 106,000 and change as we have our first all-in player. Two complete boards hey, coming. There's a good flop for the jacks. Berkey's got the king of hearts working. And I in comes hearts. a third heart. Giving Berkey 13 outs. To capture the first half. <laughs> All right. And that's always not good one of the cards for free. Roll. I get all in and I have to run it six times. <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> what a release. I need the first one. Oh my God, we called it off. We did. You called it off. I, I really it's wanted such to. Such a fish. Well, look at that. That's a good flop for you. That certainly oh, looks like a winner for Berkey. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Any more hearts? Yeah. yeah. So I just need like a so class, like nothing could go There's wrong. lots of jacks left. <laughs> With the nut flush draw. Two? There's, look at all those cards. None of them are jacks. So there's two left. Makes it about 33%. Facts. 31. Oh. Shop it up. And we'll press the reset button here. You met sports. Michael cheated. Are you and Berkey? <laughs> look at all those hearts. Well, it wasn't long into the night before we saw a pot north of 100K, but thanks to running it twice, both guys got their money back. <laughs> back inside the Poker After Dark suite for a high stakes 200 400 no limit hold'em cash game. 1,000. Daniel and Berkey both in there again. And some red crab for MJ. Okay. He'll go set mining. Okay. 10 8 6. 
to Diamonds. Negrano with the best of it. Berkey with the bad end of a gut shot. Matt, where do you rank in the pickleball streets? Are you like the end boss? No, God no. Oh, really? We play with Bigger, the group. Super athletic, long, big reach. No, there's so many people who have like strong tennis backgrounds, mm. uh, which I've never played a racket like sport me. before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 30? It ranks 30. the same as tennis. I think I'm probably somewhere between 3035. Gotcha. Which is like rather beginner. MJ asking the question with a 3x check raise. Twice I played until I forget that it's like a wiffle ball. And I would just be like smashing it as like hard as you yeah. can. And then they just like walk backwards. And, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I've accomplished nothing here. Yeah. It's very satisfying. It does feel really good. If you kind of get like in a scramble, it's a nice bailout mechanism. Yeah, but like I was trying to hit like top spin forehands. And like that's just not a thing. Yeah, no. The, the tennis background where it comes in handy is. Turn barrel like of over net. 10k. Yeah, largely like net play, like people who are able to like cut and slice and do yeah. like weird things in the short game. It's pretty good. Let's learn a little more about MJ as he spoke with Veronica about being a new dad. So your daughter just started walking. I saw you tweet about yeah. that. How has that changed your life? It is unbelievable. Like it's so weird. Like when you're a professional poker player, like you have a mindset of just like earn, earn, earn. And like you don't care about the variance. And then when you, when your daughter is born, and it, your eyes just light up and everything changes. You know, every you become cognizant of so many different things that you never thought possible. So like my priorities have kind of shifted, but I'm still you know in the high stakes scene. Yeah, I can tell you're a coach for a lot of big name people. Yeah. How does it feel like to play against one of your students? It's just like playing against another poker player. I just I approach it with a strategy and I execute. <laughs> Before tonight's action, MJ and Daniel squared off on the chessboard. You seem really frustrated. Where Daniel has been spending considerable time online, playing, polishing his game. MJ with far less experience. And chess and pickleball have certainly been arenas that poker players have turned to to keep themselves sharp physically and mentally outside the poker realm during quarantine. Gut shot straight draw on the button for Negranu. Better one in the small for Berkey. And he will check raise, putting a lot of pressure on middle pair behind him. And with the eight out of there, Berkey, now a heavy favorite. Paul. Daniel with the backdoor spades. Wants to peel, and in comes that five of spades. Six to one, the lay here. And it feels like we know where those two flags are headed. Right into the middle as another 20K slips into this pot. Berkey has just queen high now. He can't imagine his hand is good, though it is. Will he fire this crucial third barrel and collect the spoils, or will he wave the white flag? He chooses the latter, and now Daniel must bet. And he very confidently 
asks for all of it. Oh, I have a spade. That's bad. He didn't have a spade. Good thing I did. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely had the best hand there. I told you I felt like ripping it. I almost called you the queen high, but I had the It was good. Spades. Yeah. I had the 10 6 of spades. Ouch. Well, the new D Negs has some new moves. A big all in with 10 high and shows Berkey the bluff. Back inside the Poker After Dark Suite at Aria Resort and Casino as we jump right into the action again with Scott Seaver opening with Ace King. It's uh, folded around to Matt Berkey who has aces and this won't be pretty for Scott. Berkey three bets to 4,000. Have you been playing much in LA? I live here now. I had no idea. Whereabouts? Uh, the lakes. Scott seeing effective stacks of 32,000. Yeah, but which lakes? Because there's like four of them. There are lakes in Summerlin. No, off of Sahara. Right? Decides to get it all in now. Berkey, of course, with the snap call. And Seaver is going to get the ugly news. 73,000 in the middle. And Scott with just 7% equity. And just like that, Berkey has aces. Good no reloads. Nice, nice job, dum dum. <laughs> I would have folded if you had a penny more. I understand. You got maximum, maximum value, sir. Matt lamenting the fact and that then. he didn't reload prior to this pot. Started things off with just 36,000. Oh, worst river. Seaver torches a king on the first board. And he's not looking good on the second. What you got? Uh, I think 36. Queen leaves him drawing dead. So it's a full, That's if up. modest, double up for Matt Berkey. Back in the black. Seaver, meanwhile, down over 40K. Bergie giving himself a sarcastic pat on the back. Did you have anything extra? No. No, I asked. What a needle. <laughs> what a needle. <laughs> what a <laughs> needle. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to. I added a lot of heart and determination. I, I will make it nine. <laughs> 900. <laughs> The dedication and focus is Absolutely. now there. Call. Smith Absolutely wakes up to two queens on the, the button. The old Scott would be tilted playing this stack. This is new mature Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, new mature Scott will Eight. open Eight under the gun for 1,000 and folded for 3,200. You can recognize when a man has it. Call. There. Sievert check calls 800 with the king Not six and hits a six. Get it all in against aces, so maybe not. Well, he yeah, had, he, had it. You're fine, thank you. Like 45, I think. 22. 2200. Boy, this is a milking here. Smith could have bet north of pot ever so slightly and gotten all of Scott's chips in potentially here, but instead he asks for just 2,200 of the remaining 45. All in. All in. And induces oh. the check ship, Fair. perhaps. Fair. One time. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys all left-handed, or do you just shuffle with your left hand? I'm, I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed, right -handed, right -handed, but like the chips are here. Yeah, so it's the yeah, setup. It's 100% the setup. It's just, you just hate I'm, to see it every I'm, time. Yeah. I'm right-handed too, but I've been... Let me see the second river, just for Scott, <laughs> for Scott's sake. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> well, Seaver will be left with no choice but to add on now, unless he wants to hang up the cleats early, as 
Smith collects a pelt. Not a great one, two for Scott Seaver as a cold deck torched most of his chips. Then the crumbs found their way to Dan Smith. Rebuy coming up. Before the break, Scott Seaver lost most of his chips to Matt Berkey's aces, then dusted off the rest, leaving him digging into his pocket for a rebuy. Fair. I could have been winning. I mean, you've been known to check raise a little bit better than a, or a little bit worse than a pair. Gotta get out of here. No, just we top pair. We have a newborn. Yeah, well, heart. Dog, so it's like, <laughs> Sometimes you, you got it. Squirrel <laughs> finds the nut. Family just, top, just top pair with a heart. Sometimes you got it. What am I supposed to do? 1,000. Don't worry, Zach. If I keep playing this way, you'll have all the money. Truth. <laughs> At least there's some truth in it. I still can't get over the Jack 10 7 deuce PLO hand we play. I don't remember it. Be sure you don't. Let's I play don't around a few hands were. Okay. Let's do that. Let's play around. I four bet Berkey flats. You're king queen nine. Flats, you're oh yeah, king, yeah, yeah. Queen, I just have yeah, yeah, yeah. ace king king ten. I was double suited. I yeah, heard that's a good thing. Jack ten seven deuce. There, Word on the street is that is. Yeah, I, but like I don't know. I thought that was very critical. Somehow it goes all in on the flop and he shows me the old Jack ten seven deuce somehow. Granu getting oh, frisky out of the big here with 7-5 off suit. <laughs> board coverage, that's like a phrase. That's a know, thing. That's a thing. That's a ball. thing. And Berkey loves to play big ones. Hangs tough with the ace nine suited. Now Smith with a bit of a decision after electing to flat. Well, this just doesn't seem King fair. suited pre. <laughs> Oh, you got what you wanted. Well, Didn't miss it for the world. Very yeah. fair. <laughs> <laughs> Four play, you know, three callers is a little. You made a nice big pot to win. Yeah. And Dan's call draws Zach in there as well. <laughs> and he flops himself top pair for the yeah. best hand yeah. while Negranu yeah. has an open ender. This Nobody has a lone yep. club, let alone two. And this takes a little courage. Negranu, a big $17,500 bet, dispatches the over cards. And that's a big ask out of a pair of sixes with no backdoor diamonds. Francie, check raising all in. You got like 50. Yeah. Don't look at it. Yeah, I just have three sixes. Twice? Really? twice? No, no. I yeah, it was like, that would be crazy. <laughs> because so you, you have do three twice? sixes? No, I have oh, a six, seven. Oh. Yeah, that's you, you do twice? Psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> two times, two straights. Did you no. teach him that? Two boats. I didn't teach him that. <laughs> he said I have three sixes. Well, that's awkward. I mean, it yeah. almost worked. He, Negrano leaving the field a little surprised as they'll run it twice in an almost 120k pot. Monkey. Swing and a miss on the first turn. Monkey. Fair. Right. Close, but not fair. Feels good to win the first one, as they say. Fair. Hold on. There's only fair. so many times that I can bitch about it, you know. No, there isn't. Hey, the good news is if he hits me on the turn, I'm redrawing. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Coming. Uh, I'm coming. I wish I would have peeled. Oh, not the Jack Jack. <laughs> Same story on the second turn in Negrano. Left That's in need of a three one. or an eight for a no. refund. Yeah. Oh, too fair. You Instead, sevens Holler. and sixes. Uh, and there is a big uptick on the Zach Franzi chart. Well, it's not often you scoop a 120K pot getting it in with a pair of sixes, but Zach Franzi is the delighted beneficiary of Kid Poker's chips. Back to Las Vegas for more Poker After Dark, where Zach Franzi is sitting with a nearly 70K profit after a nice little run. He absolutely is. Karim was in town for 10 days. I got to play one session with him because I couldn't find 1, the heart 1, to come back. Yeah. 2,500. I've never had good bounce back ability. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm kind of with you, Scott. I fall off the ladder. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a better yeah, analogy. You don't have to, if you never leave, 
you, you can't bounce back. You're just, you're just, you've never left yeah, the game. that's true. I also just never leave. But Earlier in this session, Negreanu had the jacks oh. against Berkey's you know, ace-king, like and they got it in there. Shooters, they miss one. Might the rolls get reversed here. 96% on the next. As Daniel four bets it. Berkey opting to flat. Twenty K in there pre. And the ace in the window right away for Daniel. Fairly wet board. Fifty two hundred. And just a quarter pot bet. On the turn here. On the flop, rather. Okay. Berkey hangs in, looking to pick up equity, which he does not. Now, Negreanu heavily in the lead. Again, north of two thirds pot. Will Matt give him credit and release? The answer Least is yes. Oh, Maybe I'm something right. better. Huh? Obviously, so you didn't have to take this. <laughs> we should have just got it all in and flipped again. Yeah. Mm. I guess you could add king queen space. No. Nope. Nah. Add the queen space. <laughs> that makes it hard. Yeah. Yeah. Get Berkey sizing Daniel up there, and Negrano wouldn't have minded a call. It's just the queen on the end that would have made an, an unhappy camper. Tall order, though, as he gets a refund on some of those chips he lost to Franzi. Forty-four hundred. Meanwhile, Franzi getting three bet by MJ. Hangs in there with his king jack. And flops top pair against a gut shot straight draw. That's small. I mean, I'll be anti-sweating myself. Like, of course. Yeah. Unbelievable. This. That's just mandatory. Cool. Frenzy choosing to just call the flop now on the turn. MJ picks up the flush draw. Fires again, this time 5,700, and it doesn't look like Franzi gave much thought to making this call. And that is a soaking wet eight of hearts on the river. Choosing to check. Oh, and Frenzy's going to take a chance here. Well, 
5,400. And MJ's sense of sniff is strong. If he thinks that Franzi is out there weak with this value bet, he is not afraid to put a raise in. He does block 9-10. But it's the hearts that could be worrisome. reach for that stack of flags and look for a second like he might Thinking pull the trigger. Blasting off there. Yeah. Should have blasted off. I thought you were making a 42. That was very, probably very putting the chips in faster than my head could spin. Yeah. If you just say the nuts, I say nice hand and add on. Yeah, we move on. Life goes on. Weird. Wasn't up to no me at that point. Huh? Wasn't up to me at that point. No doubt. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. You did a nice one to nuts. Christoph when me and Daniel are at the table. You gave a speech. I uh, did do that. Uh, that was nice. Club. Man, I had ace jack. I almost we like, didn't chop that one, though, right? <laughs> Him with the fishies. No, he folded well, trips. Like, yeah. You bet that on the queen? And you windmilled it in space. Yeah. I that one was, that one was really great. Off, but are you going to? Oh, my favorite one you did was when you said, you did this to yourself. Oh, yeah. The guy bet the river, and you go, oh, my God, you just did this to yourself. And then you, like, check raised big, and he folded, and you showed air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, remember, remember when you fold this, that you did this to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> that one I remember. That's one of my that favorite was, ones. I remember yeah. My you, absolute was favorite is you against Sergey in the <laughs> WSOP. Check. I don't know. Check. Oh my God! You every hand you mimicked him, you made fun of him. Oh you yeah. You just needled him as hard I, as human as possible. Went, I went out of control on him. He wanted to light himself on fire. Yeah. Seventeen hundred. I, I still remember it. It's so funny. Ace queen against two kings. That, that was right after him and Emil got involved in like big fight in like EDT Berlin or something like a thousand years Franzi ago. just defended the big and now you, peels you the turn, it. picking up an inferior club draw. Oh, dude. And I was just like, oh, next time I play with him, I'm just gonna be on him like glue. It was relentless for like five levels. Yeah. Just chirped every single What hand. event was it? Not in it. Uh, some, I don't know, 10K stud or something? Yeah, some absolute like nonsense event yeah. with like 80 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely on him. Wow, and a limit game, it's Nine a lot dollars. harder. <laughs> it's so much more satisfying. They tilt so much worse. Frenzy choosing to check raise, 3Xing the 3K to 9. Cool. Oh. Negron is certainly not going anywhere. And in comes the club. Negrano. Has the king high flush draw up against the queen high flush draw. Neither player has the nuts. Five eight of clubs, ten eight of clubs, and the ace of clubs all beat their holdings. That's smaller than I was going to bet. So I think you did good. I think you saved money. I think. If you have the king, I saved money. You did, you did. I have a flush, but yeah, king's I, good. I have the king. The two of them? It does matter. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so the downsized defensive bet on the end saves Franzi money. That. Just a little. <laughs> Six, I think. Or eight. I guess that was the move, huh? Check Jeff. That's Daniel trying to rebound. Still down 21,000 as we'll get a look at the stack sizes. Brought to you by GG Poker. Negranu in for 150K. MJ Gonzalez up 22 on his 100K investment. Franzi, the big winner, up 69 on his 50K. Dan Smith stuck 31. Berkey up six. And Scott Seaver down 46,000. Next time on Poker After Dark. I almost ripped it in with the AC club. I knew he had a straight. I thought for sure he had a straight. Jake Daniels joins in on the fun. What kind of person straddles and folds free? And this is embarrassing. Shut up.
Scott mounts a comeback. I was like, I can do this. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so inspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dan Smith goes full cowboy. If I can only lose 30K today, it'd be great.